Um, blank Canvas Productions is something um, me and Jimmy came up with. Uh, we decided that we were kind of sick of our work not kind of getting recognised and, and seen. So we decided we'd kind of group together with a group of kind of friends and filmmakers from same uni and from our kind of um, local areas and um, get together, work together on films and help ex like expose each other to kind of just get our name out there. Yeah, I think one of the reasons. Well, I think one of the reasons why originally we thought of the idea itself was because of the production work that we actually did in university. We we just we kind of felt that there wasn't as much practical filming work as we expected, and because me and Jordan have worked together on the filming uh, scene and set and everything, we we had a good understanding of how we worked, how we connected, and we thought, dude, we love making films. We've got a passion for films, so let's get out there and actually do something, make something. Well, again, me and Jimmy work together on two productions now, um, and I just I really enjoyed work with him. Um, and again, I just we thought we'd be proactive, you know, and it's very easy just to kind of do with that all along and not really do anything. Whereas we kind of thought uh, we'll just kind of take the ball by the horns and just make something and you know build something for ourselves and with our friends who we like and like, enjoy working with and you know and again it was just with Jimmy I can kind of sense the same enthusiasm I have about making films so it was kind of just a really kind of natural fit. I've got to say this, I have to say this, but Jordan is one of the best directing actors that I've ever, like directors, actors that I've ever worked with ever. He's, he's fantastic and he definitely just like you just said there, we've both got this absolute passion for making films and, and I just think it's brilliant that John's come up with all these ideas and not being too mushy or anything. I just think it's, it's really brilliant. No? I hope, well, once we get kind of the website uh, in the middle of July and you know bits and pieces like that, I just kind of we wanted to kind of take it quite slow and just build kind of a fan base, a bit of a following. You know, people who kind of know who Blank Canvas are and look for our, our work, whether it's like I make, Jimmy, James, you know, Sean, you know, whoever, they have that following, they have that kind of knowledge of who Blank Canvas is. And then from there, build to kind of, you know, again, maybe host events and, you know, just kind of help film as a medium in general, in whatever sense, you know, we can as a small group, whether it is just kind of helping people get their film seen or, you know, helping out in productions and, you know, anything we can kind of do and build in terms of film would just be perfect. Um, I think the beginning is the hardest part when you start with nothing. Um, I think it is, I've just been bombarded on Facebook with the page, um, I've been tweeting, you know, it's just kind of, to begin with, it's really just bombarding people, forcing people to see who you are yeah. and then if they say, oh we like them, you know they like the page, they follow us, they subscribe, you know whatever, then we've got them and then if we make something good they'll tell their friends, who will tell their friends, who will tell their friends and that's kind of how it starts but then if you know down the line again we organise events or you know stuff like that, our name will be out there, people will see it, they can't not see it and we want a kind of reputation where people come to us. Yeah. So filmmakers come to us and say, look, you know, we really like what you're doing here. Can we make something with you? Or an actor comes to us, we really like you. Can we work with you? Can you keep us in mind? Just, you know, just like that. I think it's all just kind of the harder bit of getting a following is the beginning. And then it's just building on what you in, start with. Indeed, the first step is the hardest. And it is like John says, it is going out there and bombarding and bombarding. Uh, what I think I'll probably do is uh, I'll probably go out and I'll just be like, oh, I'd like a word mark. I'd like this Swiss web page is epic, you know. Oh, my God, it's my God, it's my God, it's that. Uh, just like James, James Sparks, make us some posters. What they can expect is they can expect to see films that is both fun and engaging and also inspiring. You know, it's not going to be Hollywood standard, it's not going to be epically, unbelievably amazing, it'll be close, but it won't be like 
hey look that's John Travolta, oh Johnny Depp and all that, it would be more like sort of just a new opening, a new opening kind of beginning. So in a way they can expect us just like, oh wow that's a really good idea, I didn't think about that. So kind of inspiring, selling ourselves, I'm, I'm really bad at actually selling ourselves, but it looks like John's got an idea to take the breath now. Well, <laughs> I do just think, um, again, once you have this name, I think people will expect films, I think the best kind of films are the films you see where you can see that the director, the writer, the producers, the actors, the cleaning lady have poured their heart and soul into making this film. You know, um, you know, you get the odd Hollywood films, you know, like Transformers and um, stuff, you know, films like that which are just generic, boring, you know, just pumping out to make a billion dollars. Yeah. You know, that that's not interesting. You know, we want to make kind of character stories, you know, we want something unique, gritty, a real English kind of feel, which I think the English do really well in the sense of really kind of nailing the character stories and having, you know, like Tyrannosaur, which is the British film that came out recently, which is just stunning. And I think that's what we're kind of going for, is kind of really kind of gritty, acknowledging the fact that we are kind of no money, you know, making films, stuff like that, and just embracing that kind of fun and, you know, taking that fun and that love and that desire to make films and put, making that evident on the screen when people watch. Yeah, I, 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 I couldn't have actually won that. That was good. That was, that was good. really good. I don't know how you thought that was, that was brilliant. <laughs>
look out uh, Steven Spielberg, George Lucas, because even though you made a mistake with the fourth Indiana Jones, our ideas are going to absolutely top it. Can't believe I just mentioned that in an interview. I oh, know, cut that. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear God.